hey guys quick update today is uh friday the 14th it's 2 or 6 p.m i just had a quick update as i promised i'll keep updating you vlogging my days as they go um so as of last night i started experiencing the lower back pain if you've watched my previous videos you've seen that at one point that was a problem and i had to break my fast as well because of that so as of last night i started experiencing the much dreaded back pain lower back pain i've come to understand with time that that has something to do with the kidney and uh there's, I haven't done much research on it, but um, the first time I ever experienced that, I was advised by a more experienced faster that I should put uh, butter in my coffee. And that helps. The first time I did it, and like in no, in no time, like a few minutes, I was so relieved. So today I'm going to show you how I do that. So since I started experiencing yesterday, I'm going to do it now because I just came back from errands and that back pain was a bother. So I have my coffee. And what I usually do is I take my butter and then I slice it up to cubes enough for like one take or I can use two at a time it's easier for me that way in a ziplock so I will take one slice like that like that and put it in my coffee like that and then we're gonna stir it and wait for it to melt and i will drink that i know why we do this like the reason behind it but i will do some more research and by the end of these 10 days i will come back and tell you why we do this so for now that's the update or oh, another update today i only lost when i checked today i had only lost 400 grams i don't know if my body is holding is like holding on to water again they say that once you've lost a big amount of fat from your body then the normal the like when you plateau or when you the normal loss per day is half a pound to one pound uh, a day so i don't know if i've already reached that and now i'm just gonna be losing a, a half a pound but we will see so far that's how it looks like and then i'm gonna take it there's no different taste to it. I know some people add salt into this uh, to give it more taste, but I'm personally I'm really okay with this. If you will be experiencing lower back pains, this is a quick remedy you can take to relieve that. Other than that, see you uh, again on another day. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I hope your fast is going well mine is i don't know so today is monday 17th october 2022 and this marks our 15th day so we are halfway actually maybe one day more or half day more than half day i just wanted to pop in to mark this halfway mark right so that i don't just let it pass but my first today i am feeling very absent-minded and i just wanted to lay down in bed do nothing or at least work from my bed and um i just feel that my mood is very low so i'm coming to you in my most natural state which is today i'm not as jovial or as i usually am and this is normal this is normal sometimes you will feel this way and sometimes you will feel it's not that i do not have the energy it's just mentally i um i feel withdrawn and i'm i'm in a space where i don't even feel like talking to anyone <laughs> that happens to me a lot by the way i feel like i don't look too much but a considerable amount of times but uh if i'm looking back maybe that is caused there's a lot of stress in my life right now there's a lot of things that are stressing me up and that could be the reason and also i haven't been losing much like uh yesterday i lost one pound that's okay the day before yesterday i lost half a pound no actually less than half a pound 
point four. And today, <laughs> funny thing, point two pounds. I'm like, what the? But now that I was digesting that, I'm thinking, could could my stress level be hindering my weight loss? Because you know, the stress hormone cortisol makes you hold on to weight. There's something like that. It's like I just need the right words to say it. But whenever you're stressed, you gain weight. So in this case, I'm not eating, but I'm not losing as much as I expected or as much I had been before. The the kind of stress that I'm experiencing is not something that I can talk myself out of. It's just something that needs to run through its time and then I will be okay. And I'm hoping that by the time we finish this fast, like I'll be done with all this stress stressing situations that i'm in honestly speaking if we did not have a day if we did not have a target of fasting through october i would have broken my fast not because i'm weak or because of anything just because number one losing point two pounds is like very discouraging number two usually my my coping mechanism for stress is eating so I, I definitely know that if we did not have a target and it's a good thing that I did I did the, this community first for accountability because other than that I would have turned to my coping mechanism which is food that being said maybe I'm still losing sometimes the way the, the sometimes the scale does not actually reflect your loss your losses Saying loss sounds bad but does not uh, reflect how much weight you have lost sometimes you will see it in your clothes so as I was walking out of the bedroom coming this way to make this video I looked at myself in the mirror in what I was wearing and I was like oh my god I, I, I actually don't look bad it's I'm looking okay so I'm gonna show you how I look even if I haven't been losing a lot lately, this is how I look and I, I could be really, I could be okay with this. Other than that, everything is going well. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys, my skin is flawless. And this usually happens when I fast. I find that my skin becomes very clear, flawless. The pimples that I usually get here, there's nothing. If you see my first video when we started this uh, fast, I have like lots of like whatever's here but those have cleared my skin is soft like a baby's bum I'm not wearing any makeup just Vaseline and I like that another thing I find that my lips get darker when I fast and I don't know why I absolutely have no idea why I noticed this the last time when I was fasting that my lips got darker and this time I'm noticing the same thing but that could also be because whenever I fast, my skin gets lighter. See, maybe the lips don't get lighter to match the skin. And I always think my lips got darker, but actually maybe it's just the skin that clears up and becomes very light. And that leaves the lips with the natural color. I will see you on Saturday. That will be our 20th day and if if this is not exciting enough just know that we are halfway we just have to fast this week and next week and then and then the following week i think on monday or tuesday we start refeeding and actually we could start taking bone broth on that last weekend uh before uh let me check on the 29th yeah so we are fasting this week next week and we start taking bone broth on the 29th or 28th and and work that up until the 31st which is on monday and then on tuesday you can up your bone broth and start introducing these refeed foods gradually before you can fully eat so if that is not encouragement enough then i don't know what is thank you guys uh for now keep it going i will see you again soon Bye. Arise and shine. It's a uh, Saturday, the twenty second. This marks the twentieth day of fasting.
and i wanted to say congratulations to everybody who's fasting sending you good vibes so that you can uh successfully finish your fast as for me on this 20th day i woke up really nauseous and lightheaded and just dizzy i have actually this is like this is 9 39 a.m i've actually had to lie down like twice or three times just to like relax myself also an update from before i had gained two pounds from where i don't know i'm still at that exact weight for like four days nothing has changed i haven't lost a pound i haven't lost a gram so i'm like what you know you're not eating at all for all this time and then all of a sudden you're like at a certain weight nothing is giving you know so it's a little discouraging so uh with how i'm feeling today add on to that no motivation of like the scale uh moving at all i decided that i'm slowly gonna start to take my bone broth i was gonna start taking bone broth next friday i think that would be the 28th but i think i have to break this plateau this is a plateau because if i'm doing everything correct and i'm not losing weight nothing is happening i have hit a plateau sometimes when sometimes when you're fasting and you hit a plateau whichever actually with with fasting and if you're dieting and you hit a plateau you there's something called carb recycle like you can have a cheat day which will trigger you to your body to think you've gone back to eating and then you will start when you get back into the diet you will start losing again but in this case i'm not gonna eat i'm just gonna start taking my bone broth i have prepared my bone broth from a batch that i had frozen sadly the glass broke that it was frozen in but i was able to uh, salvage the content without um getting glass into the content so i have warmed some this is a lot if you were starting to take bone broth to break a fast you should have taken like maybe half of this but given how i feel i'm desperate to feel better so i'm gonna have all of these and maybe late in the afternoon i'll also have some it's hot oh my god i had missed this test but there's no salt in this i need to add salt so yeah this is where i'm at today weight has stagnated i am am i upset about that because i really wanted to hit that goal and go below i had the potential to do that so i don't know what happened and i'm feeling um like throwing up i've been feeling like throwing up also add on the lightheadedness dizziness nausea I think that's a sign that I need to break my fast but I'm not going to like go all the way in breaking it I'm gonna be taking bone broth for a few days before I can add veggies so last night I was being proactive and I uh, actually planned out my whole uh, breaking fast and exactly what I hope you can see that I planned my whole breaking fast and what exactly I'm gonna be eating. This is, I find this handy. I didn't know I was gonna feel like this today, but I'm glad I did it. And the next thing I'm gonna do is plan my workouts. I'm going to attach a video of the supposed Christmas dress and see if it's gonna zip this time. And I'm also gonna take progress pictures and so far this is how i look this is how i is looking i don't see much change but i know there is change because before i couldn't comfortably wear this top even and my tummy especially the upper part has gone away and uh i'm planning to be waist training going forward to maintain like a slim figure in the midsection that being said, I'm gonna get ready and go to church like a good girl. <laughs> to be actually honest, I think my body is holding on to 
this way this is also the exact weight i got to last time before uh i got nauseous and broke my fast this is the exact same weight so i'm wondering is my body telling me this is the weight that i have to be at and also i'm feeling dizzy again and also i have my periods coming up because my life app updated me and that could also be another reason why i'm holding on to weight and maybe the dizziness being uh, anemic low iron uh maybe this is also why so this is the dress that was chosen if it doesn't zip like i said before it doesn't have to it was just a measure of weight loss let's see if the bump area is now easier to go up but not smoothly guys guys there we had it it's all zipped it wasn't easy to zip it all up i just wanted to see if it would actually go up so this is too tight and i told you guys it's gonna be the best area it's uh, a little tight i wouldn't wear it like that but i'm glad to know that a dress that wouldn't fit before is actually going in like that it's not as tight on the hips as it was before i feel like i can sit so there we have it the christmas dress i'll put a comparison between this me now and and uh a few years ago when i was wearing this dress so that we see the difference i think the difference is my tummy is still a little bigger even though it fits into this dress but my bust is too squished i think but there's a good curve but also there's this meat so yay christmas dress check i'll keep you updated the whole of next week with my progress of slowly refitting i need to go lie down a little bit. i need to drink this add salt to this and then go lie down a little bit and then get ready to go a quick update on how i was feeling earlier that bone broth worked magic it worked it magic i had a better day there was no more nausea no no dizziness there was actually nothing my body was feeling okay so i think i really needed that boost and um i will be drinking it whenever i feel bad i'm still gonna go on with my fast but i'm gonna take a few sips every day maybe whenever i'm feeling like really low because i really want to fast to the end of this month as planned so yeah that was a quick update if you're feeling terribly bad you can sip on um bone broth and this is why i was telling you guys that you need actually to make bone broth way before you break your fast because if i did not have the bone broth i would have ended up breaking my fast right so it comes in handy so, bye-bye.